Significant corporations was a New York established provider of consumer and business services, with the main focus being real estate and travel industries. Henry Silverman, who was a business executive and private equity investor, created the hospitality franchise system as a prompt to obtain many hotel franchises such as Ramada and Days Inn in the 90s. In the early 90s, Henry Silverman went on to buy many different businesses of different kinds such as rental car gaming and tax preparations. However, it was in December 1997 when HFS decided to embark on a $14 billion merger with CUC International, creating Sender Corporations. International was a membership-based company heavily focused in consumer services. One of the reasons of the merger was done on the basis that Henry Silverman would increase his day-to-day -day involvement with the business. The company chairman would be running operations, which was chosen and highly regarded by CUC founder and CEO Walter Forbes. So, was this merge a success? No. When the merger was completed, it proved to be the most disastrous decision ever made by Henry Silverman. A decision that led to one of the biggest accounting scandals ever seen in the late 90s. In the year period, Vice Chairman Kirk Shelton was reported to increase business revenue over by $500 million. As you can see, the difference between the fact and fiction of the 1997 revenue. Ended's board of directors decided to launch an investigation when seeing the anomalies in the books. This is when they were informed that the previous management team at CUC International, including Walter Forbes and Kirk Shelton, had been fraudulently and unlawfully preparing and disclosing false statements of financial position and profit and loss over many years of seven plus. Due to this, it was found that the business market value fell by $14 billion, stock fell down to $12 billion and investors lost around $19 billion. It wasn't long until authorities decided to take action and Walter Forbes was convicted on the charges that he was the mastermind behind the scandal and was sentenced up to 25 years.